and one catches our eye on the post parade for the sixth. Horses are on the track and pretty the post, sixth race. The old oaken bucket for three-year-old Colton Gelding Trotters, sponsored by Post Printing, first of $122,310. These are the horses, number one, Crown Prince Gar. Joe and Joanne Thompson, the lessees, Chesapeake City, Maryland. Luke Willett drives. Number two, King Valley. C. E. Tactor of East Windsor, New Jersey. K. Ross of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Jimmy Tactor drives. Number three, Chip Chip Puray. C. A. Sylvester, M. C. Paracas, Wingfoot Farms, and N. B. Goldman. Eric Ledford, the driver. Number four, on a reach. Arden Homestead, Stable, and Caroline Gary of New York. Jackie and Gracia. Number five, Cosington. Little E Limited, New York, New York. John Campbell driving. Number six is Come Home Cosmos. JT Roach, SC Rosenstock of Florida. Mike Lachance, the driver. Number seven, Rich Rewards. Arlene and Jules Siegel of New Hope, Pennsylvania with George Brennan. Number eight, Malabar Motion. Big B Farm, Paramus, New Jersey. Mal Burroughs, the driver. Number nine, Hand Glider. Adam Victor of New York, New York with Ron Pierce in the Saki. Win play show for back to try, back to super, back to wagering. They'll go to the post in eight minutes. Don't be shut out. Wager now. Old Oaken Bucket Trotters running behind the great coon, starting to get on the upper turn. The gate swings into the stretch, and here they come. Trotting Chip Chip Puray goes right out for the lead. Crown Prince Gar on the inside. That's the race into the turn. King Valley gets away third. Racing up on the outside. Rich rewards fourth. Racing fifth on a reach. Sixth is Consington. Into the turn. Seventh and the lighter. Eighth is Malabar Motion. Trinity to be an off stride. Come home, Cosmos. Down the back side. Chip Chip Puray takes him to the quarter. 27 and 4 fifths. End of the turn, racing second. That's Crown Prince Yard moving up third. King Valley racing fourth. Rich rewards. Fifth is on a reach. Coming to the outside sixth. It's Cosington first up for John Campbell. Malabar motion is seventh. Racing eighth. Hand lighter. Passing it down to the first time. Come home, Cosmos trails the field as the race over to the halfway point. Halfway home at 58 and 2. On to the backside. Chip Chip Hooray with the lead. Racing second, Crown Prince Gar. On the outside. Cosington is now third. Racing fourth, King Valley. Out and moving the outside. On a reach. Now fifth and moving up for Jackie and Gracia. Racing six, Rich Rewards. Malabar Motion comes to the outside. Going to the three quarter mark. Chip Chip Hooray opens up. Three quarters, 127. Into the final turn. Chip Chip Hooray and Eric Ledford now by six, and they want more. Crown Prince Gar second, racing third, Cosington. Into the stretch they come. Chip Chip Hooray with the lead. Crown Prince Gar second, down the lane. Chip Chip Hooray! One, 54. The newest world champion in harness racing, Chip Chip Hooray, just scorched the Delaware half mile oval, 154 and three. Last quarter in 27 and three. What an effort here. Chip Chip Hooray, fair one, no shoes today. For Chip Chip Hooray, who establishes a world record.
the three-year-old trotting coats. Pine Jeff had a share of victory. C.S. Sylvester, M.C. Brackett, Wingfoot Farms, N.B. Goldman, the others, Chuck Sylvester, Turing's. Eric Lepper gets his fourth of the week here at Delaware. Old Oak and Bucket, three-year-old Colton Gelding Trot. State's record, world's record. For Chip Chip, hooray! One, 54 and three, final half, 56 and one, final quarter, 27 and three. A couple of days for Eric Ledford, huh? Takes yeah. the jug at yesterday with Always Cam, world record here with uh, Chip Chip Ray and no jug drives. Uh, he might pick up something live in the final. Yeah, he's putting on uh, quite a show here this week. And our results have been posted official. Three, one, five, and four, and uh, looks like uh, we have an incident out on the racetrack with Mark Ford warming up a horse. And uh, Mark has caught the horse, whatever happened. He was dumped out of the jog cart there and is leading him back toward the uh, back paddock area. Let's go to the winner's circle and Ellie Sarama. Thanks, Roger. We got a happy group here hollering, chip, chip, hooray, and I have to... Chucky Sylvester with me. Chuck, first of all, a world's record, a stakes record. Was that planned? Well, I told Eric that this is a great track, and if he felt good, I knew he trot here good. I said, uh, if he feels good, let him roll the end of it, and that's what happened. You know, you told people that you took his shoes off. Now, does that hurt his feet? No, not at all. He's much better without them. We raced him last uh, two weeks ago to coin with them off. This is the second time this year. You know, we were looking at the Yonkers trot line, and uh, it was a sloppy surface that night. Was that the problem with him? Well, there's a trough over there, and he was down the inside. It was quite deep. And I had to leave his shoes on because of that track, and he just couldn't go. What's next to him? Uh, the Kentucky Derby, or for charity, next Saturday. Well, let me ask you a question. Are you going to try for a world record down there? Well, uh, he'll have to go fast to win there because uh, the big boys will be there, but he, they'll know he's there. Well, he looked absolutely fabulous today, and I was saying he should be in a pony race. He's so small. I have never seen such a small horse with a big heart. Well, he's getting bigger every time he wins, so that's good for us. Well, congratulations to you and all the owners of Chip Chip Array winning the Old Oak and Bucket in World and Stakes record time. Guys, 